Instant coffee, Tesco Gold, three pounds, absolute game changer. Anyway guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Hope you're well. Today's video is gonna be a close haul. So I've got some items from Gymshark, Alpha Lee, um, some bits and bobs from ASOS as well. This is actually the first time from buying anything from Alpha Lee before. So super excited to try this on and show you guys exactly what I've got. I'm also gonna tell you in this video what to kind of look out for when buying kind of gym clothes or buying in bulk. But before I do all of that, pre-workout is going in. This, this is the one, bulk powders, peanut butter, so, so nice. If you don't know, get to know, get some online. So good, man. So that was an absolute epic workout of Jack earlier, but now onto the subject of today's video. First up, we're gonna start with footwear. So this is a little bit of fake news. I've actually already worn these, but these are the fly knits. Uh, these are the black ones, uh, size 10 that I've gone for. So um, I had my eyes on these for a while, just kind of decided what kind of color to go for. Uh, but I've gone with black, because obviously I'm a, a personal trainer, um, and obviously they're good for the gym as well. If you get a pair of these, I would highly recommend wearing them for like a, an upper day, a push day, a pull day, anything like that. But if you were to do legs, I'd probably recommend more of a flatter shoe. It's like Vans or a Converse, something like that. Or if you prefer like a heel, have like um, squat shoes, like an elevated heel. Um, but these are absolutely fantastic. Worn them a couple of times now. Um, wasn't sure how I was gonna get on with like kind of the spongy bit. And obviously this reminds me of like when I used to play football, I used to wear like mercurial, yeah, I think they're Mercurials. Yeah, shoes, the Nike ones. How you kind of like just slip them in and they kind of just like um, uh, kind of customize to your feet and it just takes a couple of days to get used to these, but these are very, very nice. And obviously these are now my new gym shoes. Absolute major key when kind of open a packaging like this, make sure you use scissors. Otherwise, if like the packaging is damaged and you can't put it back together, you can't send it away. Too many times in the past, I've just kind of ripped it open because I've been so excited um, and haven't actually been able to return it if it doesn't fit. So um, yeah, Carly's always on me about doing that. I'm actually gonna open this one first because I know this has some bottoms on, so once I have the bottoms on, I can obviously try on all the t-shirts as well. So the bottoms I've got, these are from ASOS, these are the Nike ones. This is actually a tapered fit. So this is the first time I've actually bought a tapered fit before. I've bought them so they're, like, they're tighter towards the bottom, so it has a little bit of ankle rather than too baggy. Um, but yeah, this is the first lot of tapered fit on. So let's try these on. So these are really, really nice. I kind of like how these fit, especially around the ankle. The one thing I would say though, is they're a little bit baggy around the middle. Obviously you've got to tie that up quite tight. Now I'm not off season, they're probably gonna fill up quite, um, quite quickly. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is kind of the way I would like my trousers. So um, the one thing I'd say for you is, even though you're gym, you still got to be comfortable, especially if you're on like a bench and doing like dumbbell incline bench or anything like that. You don't want to be kind of like slipping around all over the place. So they've got to be comfortable. This is as tight as I would go. I wouldn't go any tighter. Otherwise it looks like you kind of got leggings on. Um, and there's just like a bit of maneuver in there. So really, really happy with these. So let's go straight into Gymshark. Uh, this is the first top that I've got from Gymshark. This is a black one. Uh, this is with the Gymshark logo on the front. Like I kind of hummed and hard about this for a while because I wasn't sure if it's like a little bit too basic. 
Um, but most Gymshark cloven items that I get, especially top-wise, fit really, really nicely. It's kind of that middle ground between, again, kind of like these trousers, a little bit too tight, but they're not a bit like being too baggy. It's got a really kind of nice fit. Um, and obviously, just sort of the logo, it's a little bit different, even though sometimes I look at it and like, if you look at it from an angle, it looks like you're a bit like Superman. Um, a little bit unusual, but happy with this. Like to be a little bit different. So, I'm gonna try this on, see what this is saying. Yes, now, very, very happy with this. Um, the one thing that uh, you probably can't see on the camera, it's a slightly different color black in comparison to my trousers. It's more of like a, a gray black, which is a little bit unusual, but in terms of the fit, the arms, the length is quite nice as well. It's not too baggy. Yeah, this is, this is decent. I really, really like this one. Let's go on to the next one. So I've actually bought a top that isn't black. Um, I've actually gone for something a little bit different. This is a white Gymshark one with a blue, with a blue logo. This again is a really nice fit. The one thing I worry about this one is once I'm kind of really deep in the off season, you know, five to 10 kilos heavier, is this gonna to be too tight? Especially if I have a bit of a belly, um, it's gonna come through. But in terms of the fit for the chest, it makes me actually look like I actually work my chest and actually have some sort of muscle tissue there. So don't mind that at all. Um, quite nice with the logo, uh, the blue. Obviously ones like this are so aesthetic, really, really like this kind of item. Um, and again, it fits really nice in the arm. Again, not too short, so it looks a bit unusual. Do you remember as well those kind of t-shirts that you used to have and it used to, whenever you put like a, the sleeve through, it used to come out like that. Really, really odd. But yeah, not too short, uh, but at the same time, not too long. So I'm really happy with this one. Um, again, the length, length is really, really nice. So yeah, pleased with that one. Just hope this, this tan stays for a while. I also want to show you guys um, a couple things that I've got that aren't necessarily like Gymshark or I'm going to go on to Alphalete in a minute. Um, haven't necessarily got like a brand but I'm really really good at kind of uh, gym wear. This is like a white top, this is just like a medium, it's like an oversized top, I've got a black one as well. Um, and it's absolutely fantastic for like, you know, any kind of gym session where you need a little bit more leeway so it's not like kind of tight fitted. It's really really comfortable. So I've got the black one, let's um, see what the white one's saying, obviously probably exactly the same. Um, do you remember like Halloween when if you wanted to dress up as a ghost your mum would just put a sheet over you um, Just cut a little bit out That's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment, but at the end of the day in a gym environment who cares too much as long as it uh, Is comfy and, and you're happy with it. So um, like I said I got a black one of this This is like a medium anywhere between like five and ten pounds You know you can stock up on these as well, so it doesn't necessarily have to be like a brand um, So yeah, really really happy with this also from ASOS. I got this good for nothing t-shirt I'm not sure where I wear this to gym actually because this is a lot better nicer in real life than kind of on the ASOS page. So um, this is a ML, size ML, I'm guessing medium large. Um, really nice colour, a nice colour blue. I don't know if you, it kind of comes up really nice on here but yeah, I don't think I've ever bought from this brand before. Good for nothing. But yeah, so I'm going to try this on, see how this fits. Yes, yes, yes. Completely forget what I said. This is not gym wear at all. I don't think I've ever worn anything like this kind of shade of blue before um, But this is nice man. This is nice. Just, just skip past this one because this is this is not gym wear So coming at you with another one from ASOS um, This is this has got a stain on it man. Is that a stain? Not sure Anyway, I have gone for the navy. This is an XL. Um, I have a black one of this, like a slightly different pattern, I think, with the night. It's got like a little bit of orange on. Um, and the large is probably a little bit too small. Once you've washed it like one or two times, it just comes up a little bit too short. And, and that's the worst thing that happens when you're kind of training and your like, kind of top comes up a little bit. Uh, not a big fan of that. So I've gone for an XL. Uh, yeah, this is the navy color. Um, see what this looks like with black. 
So yeah, not too sure if I'm gonna wear this with black trousers. I'm probably gonna have to uh, purchase some like kind of gray bottoms or even navy bottoms as well. Um, but the actual fit is kind of exactly what I wanted with the XL. That slight bit of bagginess. When you're standing up, it probably looks a little bit too baggy, but then when you're actually working out, it's it's a lot better for you. You know, it's not too tight fitted. The things with like Gymshark and, and how they're tight fitted is obviously they're accustomed um, to you and they're obviously gym wear so obviously even though they're tighter fitted they don't feel uncomfortable whereas something like this if this was kind of really tight fitted it, it would just not kind of be right um, so if you're kind of like six foot and above then that's what I am I'm six foot one I'd probably recommend like an XL in this um, yeah I think this was only like this was in the sales so anywhere between sort of 10 and 15 pounds um, and it's just something nice to kind of put on for the gym so this is the one I've been looking really really forward to so I really hope these fit purely because it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass to send these back. Um, obviously because Alphalete is an American company. So hopefully they fit, fingers crossed. I didn't know whether to go large or extra large. Um, but yeah, we're going to see. Woo! Yes now. Very, very nice. Yes, yes. Slightly different fit to like a Gymshark one. It's kind of tight fitted, but then it's still baggy. Like Gymshark kind of feels like from here all the way down to like sort of uh, your kind of belly button is really kind of tight fitted. Whereas this one feels quite tight fitted to like the chest and then it's quite baggy after that. Um, yeah, this is nice, man. This is nice. This is exactly what I want in terms of length. Uh, we've kind of talked about the sleeve before in the past. You don't want it too long. You don't want it too short. If it's too short, you know it's too kind of small for yourself. Um, yeah, it's perfect kind of bagginess, really happy. So that's one item that I don't need to return, fingers crossed for the next one. So I'm getting really good at purchasing clothes now because this is another one that's not black. This is, oh, this is exactly the same. I didn't realize. I've literally gone for the white one. I thought it was just something different. I, I am the most basic gym clover, man. Gym clover, is that even, I don't know if that's even a word. Um, yeah, so this is the white one. Do I, do I need to try this on? It's probably gonna fit exactly the same. I hope it does. Um, large, yeah, sick. Yes, this is absolutely fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. As you guys can probably tell, I prefer like darker clothes in the gym uh, rather than white, purely because like if the gym's darker, I prefer wearing darker clothes. Whereas if you wear white, you kind of stand out a little bit too much. Um, but this one is nice. I really like it. And obviously with the Alpha Elite logo, um, yeah, really, really nice. So that is pretty much it, other than this nightcap that I've also purchased. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on because this is gonna mess my hair up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I haven't purchased a nightcap for a while. The, the last one I've kind of had has had just like a little night tick here, uh, whereas this um, has one right in the front. So this is also gonna be a gym hat, obviously, if you have bed hair and you go for a gym session in the morning, hats are absolutely fundamental to that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put this one on, but you can see, um, yeah, it's nice. Like £10 from ASOS as well. So that is everything, guys. Um, like I said before earlier, in terms of gym clothing, you kind of want to find that middle ground. Like for me, I kind of like wearing some stuff that are baggy, but then some stuff that's kind of quite tight fitted. Um, but then when you wear tight fit stuff, you've got to make sure it's not too tight fitted where you're uncomfortable. Um, and especially something that's not too small, because obviously if you're sitting down, if it's coming up a little bit, or the arm length is like too short, um, that's less than ideal. Um, I'm gonna link all the kind of items in the description below. Um, if you haven't already, please like this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.